Grandpa Coyote coming to you once again here from now on the mountainside up here by Crestone, Colorado, hanging out with my dogs and having a good time this afternoon, enjoying the view. Finally got us a bright sunny day after some real awful snow, but it wasn't too bad. Went away in a day, man. Lots of it up on the mountain up there where it should be. Good to see life coming back to, into being here just a little bit today. Actually feeling some ants crawling on me as I'm laying here on this rock and taking it easy in the sun, soaking up some vitamin D. It's awesome, man. I tell you, I love it here. And I love to see life coming back into creation. I love to see creation coming back to life. Springtime in the Rockies, there's nothing quite like it. It takes a while to get here, but once it's here, oh, it's awesome. Well... You know, it's kind of a metaphorical thing, but in a sense, that's right we are, we are as humanity. We're like at the springtime of our lives. We're beginning to awaken and arise in ways that we never have before. All of us as humans, many of us as individual humans with a tremendous amount of light and a lot of love to share. These beings then are opening the doorways, the gateways for everyone else. So you may well be one of them, you know, you who are watching here. I would suggest then that you get inside of yourself. Join us in the night. Whether you're asleep or awake, join us in the night as we open our heart and take flight. Every night. Except Friday nights, but even then we take flight. But as I'm doing my little radio show there at night, tremendous heart openings, tremendous awakenings are beginning to occur, even inside of myself. I'm noticing finishing cycles, cycles that complete what we've been doing with one another for years and years, the elements inside of ourself, I mean, you know, coming together in ways that I've anticipated but could never have imagined. So it's kind of a melding, emerging, a grokking time where you begin to realize not just the divine nature of the connection between you and all others, but the reality of that connection in oneness. So it's going to change some very basic parameters that we have in this life. And excuse me if I raise my hand and share a little energy with you right now, but I'm just feeling like that's what I need to do. So I'm just going to close my eyes and share a little energy with you here while I'm sharing this wealth of information. As we come into a more full side of ourselves, as this energy inside of our heart continues to unwind and develop and occupy increasingly large segments of our consciousness, which includes the entirety of our human person, from toes to top of the head, man, everywhere else in between, we awaken then in ways that we never could have before. And these sense of divisions between us that compel us into such oddballs behaviors, these go away. These dissolve into the newness of the oneness connection, the reality of it. So folks, really, all you got to do is live in it to be it. That's it. Just open up, recognize the love, let that awaken from this old heart over here where it's been trapped from ever, forever and ever. Bring it here to the center. Let it all unwind and revolve around that center heart inside of yourself. And babies, you're becoming clean and whole and more natural than you've ever been before. It's an awesome time of being because these openings, these awakenings have not been available on this level ever before in the history of humanity, not since before time began. You're going to love it, baby. So feel the love. Here's the awakening energy for you coming right through me right now. And there you are, babies. Take it from there. It's going to take you to some mighty beautiful places. 
just like the one we're existing in now. Here, I'm going to show you a little bit of this place before we sign off here. This is our mountains here. Pinions and cedar trees. And just everything you could imagine. And skies that are just as blue as blue can be. And tall mountain peaks out there. And jet airplanes that ain't chem trailing and you know puffy little clouds above the mountains and babies we just have a great life here it's nice to be alive and living in them there's my old buddy cyrus down there sniffing under that tree down there he loves it out here if you get a chance to come visit me this summer crestone's a great place to come and be okay babies just remember even though the tree may wither and die it still has a lot of uses and its spirit never leaves. It rises up right beside it as another tree long before it dies away. That's a secret to us too, babies. You're rocking. While Grandpa the loves you. Sing all the day. When it's springtime in the Rockies, in the Rockies.